Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Falling Down. What do you know about this movie? Okay, I well, first this one our action Patreon poll. Yes, so we'd like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our action Patreon poll. And then I believe this is Michael Douglas. And we just had him pretty recently with uh, Romancing the Stone. Which right. That was a lot of fun. Yes. Other than that, I'm not 100% sure what this film's about. Um, a lot of our patrons have made jokes about how much you would like this film. Yeah, so I have not seen this movie, but I do believe I understand the premise. And I feel like in a negative way, I may connect a <laughs> lot with the premise of this. <laughs> Uh, maybe match your persona. Humor. Yeah, my humor. Uh, obviously <laughs> not. <Persona>. Yeah. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I won't go into any further detail or anything about the movie, but I believe I understand what the premise is. So I think I'm going to very much enjoy this. Plus, it's Michael Douglas again, which we haven't really had him much, but it's been nice when we have. Yes. Um, so movie poster, it looks like it's him in front of a cityscape. Okay. He's dressed up in a like work clothes and has a briefcase and a shotgun. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> it's pretty easy to infer maybe what's going on based off the poster. I'm honestly curious if this is going to be like office space Extreme. snaps. Yeah. I mean, I guess there there's snapping in office space too. Yeah, there is snapping in <laughs> office space. End. Um, but with a shotgun. Um, so I think I'm not going to be the only one who really enjoys this because Office Space is like one of your favorite movies. I now. love Office Space. So I don't know how much this is our action winner. Uh, so I don't know how much of this is going to be like comedic or if it's going to be. I don't know. Like dark. I don't know. So, but I'm excited nonetheless. We've had a lot of very depressing movies in a row. Uh, all amazing, but just very sad themes. So I'm excited for something that's maybe a little bit more over the top and ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Nice and sweaty. Robert Duvall. Oh, cool. I didn't know we had Robert Duvall. Traffic. Oh, yeah. I thought he was in a garage for a second. This is how Office Space starts, too. <laughs> it does. Starts in traffic. <laughs> oh. Did he get into a fender bender? Or, yeah. Or was the car in front of him just smoking? Or was that his car? Oh, I thought it was a fender bender, but I think it's just traffic. Quite a bit going on in this little traffic jam. I know that. Here, give me the phone. There is no progress. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and his AC does not work. Explains all the sweat. I attract flies like no other, and it pisses me off. <laughs> this is giving me anxiety. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my god, I'm ready to snap. <laughs> Just leave the car. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Going home. I mean, they're not moving anyways, but you can't just leave <laughs> your car. <laughs> this is definitely the time a uh, motorcycle. Yeah, it's beneficial. Yeah. I like the heat, you know, like it looks so hot. Huh? We're in a dangerous environment here. We got a lot of glass and steel rushing by at high speeds. Wait a minute. What high yeah, speeds? Downtown robbery. I'm in linoleum tile myself. <laughs> tile? Back in your vehicle. You push, I'll steer. We do ceramics too. He did not get back into his vehicle. Yeah, today's my last day as a cop. Lucky me. Lucky me. Oh! oh. Hey, don't touch it! Just get this lane moving. Jeez, everyone's on edge. Yeah, I think the heat is getting to everyone. Hello? Is that his wife and kid? 
I don't think that's enough. Mm -mm. I guess we change for the phones. Lord says, I have to buy something. That's always so frustrating. Ooh. Nice and cold. Yeah. I'll give you 50 cents, you give me 50 cents change. Drink, 85 cents. You pay, a go. But you come to my country, you take my money, you don't even have the grace to learn how to speak my language. Damn. You have any idea how much money my country has given your country? How much? I don't know. <laughs> it's gotta be a lot. You go now. I stay. Oh. We do. Damn, are they already fighting over a gun? Oh no, it's a bat. I speak slowly and distinctly. Take the money! Yeah, you're essentially robbing the place. Aspirin. Price? 340. Oh, please. Jeez. Damn, he snapped on just an innocent shop owner. 50 cent. Good answer. Pleasure frequenting your establishment. Maybe it was a bat. Maybe it's not a shotgun. Oh, that he was holding? In yeah, the... on the poster. I didn't look close enough. It did look like a shotgun when they were fighting over it. Yeah. It's really from my cat's litter box. But he said you could keep the lumps. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, really? The guy was on the way to his fucking car. Mowed <laughs> down by a runaway impound. Nasty. Damn, why are you laughing about that? Remember, anything can happen today. You know how dangerous a desk can be. Watch out for paper cuts. Some foreshadowing here. Does he get shit on a lot by all these people? Come on, leave the poor desk jockey alone, will you? Let's not get our pantyhose in a bind. Damn, these people suck. Come on, Cindy, let's go. Lunch? Yep. But I guess he's had not much action if he's just always been a desk jockey. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he's gonna need more money. I think this is the first time there's been music. Other than the uh, very intense opening. Scene? Yeah. yeah. Kill, kill, kill. Is he still walking around with that bat? The important thing is we're together, right? That That's what counts. Yeah, but you're not here. Well, I will be soon, baby. And I love you. I love you, too. Man, why is she so much on edge? On the bridge is falling down. Help me out. Now, come on. My, My hair. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was just more confused why he needs to sing to his wife to calm her down. Same photo. Something's up with that photo. Yeah. Oh, man. That's your shoe? See you are, you're trespassing on private property. It's loitering too, man. That's right, you're loitering too. Wow. This is fucking private property. It says all that? <laughs> yeah. Maybe wrote it in fucking English, I could fucking understand it. Thinks he's being funny. He's pretty funny. Back up a step or two. I'll take my problems elsewhere. Fair enough. What do you think? I think it should pay a toll. Pay a toll? What do you want, a holy shoe? I'm not giving you my goddamn briefcase. Motherfucker, give us your motherfucking briefcase. Whoa, okay. Where's his bat? I was willing to respect your territory and treat you like a man, but you couldn't leave it alone, could you? You all right? You can have my briefcase. Here, you want my briefcase? There it is. Oh. Oh. You forgot the briefcase. You forgot the briefcase. Damn, he ran quick. <laughs> Clear path. I'm going home. Needs a break. <laughs> He tried to have a break. All right, uh -oh. upgraded to a knife. I need your John Doe right here, here, and here. Never heard a signature called John Doe. But it was John Hancock. Yeah, right. Mr. Lee, come on in. Uh, help you till more tender, huh? Uh, uh oh. Told him take my money. He say no. He called me thief. He bought a soda, you mean he paid for it? I told you, the guy crazy. <laughs> baseball bat. Oh, he did steal the baseball bat. I mean, he stole your baseball bat, but he paid for the soda. That still doesn't count, Mr. Lee. Come on, let's go. Thanks, Printer Gas. <laughs> okay. That doesn't count as robbery? Well, just part of the assault, maybe. Okay. We're gonna look for this guy, all right? So just shut the fuck up! Uh-oh, they got backup? 
If he's still around, we're gonna find him and fuck his shit up! And you go to the fucking hospital, right? SHUT UP! <laughs> she has a point. Your arm looks broken. So I'm guessing this is the home he's headed to? It's gotta be. Hello? He's not saying anything. Cut the crap, I know it's you. What do you want? Oh. It is you, isn't it? Yeah. So he's not allowed home. You listen to me, this is my house now. Don't talk like that, Beth. I have to come home, I have to bring her a present. You know you can't come here. Damn, how bad was their breakup? I guess that's why that little girl in the car in front of her, in front of him, maybe set him off a little bit. Oh. Get the fuck out of the car now! Get out of the car! Uh oh, oh. oh. And you? Don't. He's about to get hit with a drive-by. I'll call the police if I have to. Come on, go, go, go! Oh, you better duck or something. Everyone but him. What the hell? They shot so many people, but not him. And they got into an accident. He has no idea that was about him. <laughs> this is oh definitely my God. Not a comedy. It's not a comedy. <laughs> but there are some funny moments. Not this one. Damn, those guys sucked. They shot a bunch of random people and then died in a car accident. You missed. <laughs> Damn, from a knife to a gun now, he didn't even need to do anything. I missed too. I like the music. Ooh. That's the concept. Uh. Holy oh. shit, there's so many guns. Take some shooting lessons, asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing she wasn't in the car. Seriously. Drive by shooting? <laughs> Disgusting. So they're aware of the shooting, just not the connection. Yeah. You're retiring a little early. You won't be getting your full pension. Yes, sir, that's right. Damn, I wonder how much more he had to go. The file says, uh, we lost a child. Oh, okay. I'm still married though, right? Yes, sir, I am. Man, we can't escape movies centered around, like, children. Moving out of here to Arizona to try to get away from, like... Memories. Memories, and, yeah. bad memories. And he's leaving early. So many people trying to get on this bus. No, yeah, that's too much. Going home. Not this way or not. Why not? Metro rail construction, that's why not. Just follow your tootsies. So our cop lost his kid and our bad guy can't see his kid. But he has a propensity for violence. Yeah, yeah, I think you could say that. Oh, okay, so he didn't snap. He's just always been snapping. Yeah. Just didn't want to wait until he got around to it kind of thing. He could, I think. You think? What is up with this cop? She has a restraining order. That's... Yeah, the judge <laughs> deemed it necessary for a restraining order. But he was never physical with her or the kid. But clearly a very angry person. I mean, look how he was in the in the convenience store. Maybe he, you know, beat the shit out of like a wall. Yeah, or, yeah. You know. There's just so many people. Let me see your driver's license. What do you want to see my driver's license for? Like you're from Santa Barbara. I have your address on. I want it. I don't have a driver's license. So then, how do you drive? Come on! All I'm asking for is a little change. Dude, I give up. Eaten in three days. You're eating right now. What the fuck? Are you serious? I don't need it anymore. Come on. It was just a lunch. Hey man, at least you got food. A son of a bitch! You said you hadn't eaten. That guy might have deserved something else. Tell you guys the truth, okay? Yeah, right. 
Oh. If he hears the description. Your boyfriend's probably fucking dead. Stop saying that. You want another little three-year-old kid to get shot in the head, huh? Is that what you want? Is that what happened? He attacked him on Angel's Flight Hill with a baseball bat. A baseball bat? Hey, wait, wait, hey. I don't know. He, he looked like you, except he was taller and he had hair. <laughs> so white. <laughs> we gotta keep the pressure on her. Don't interrupt, okay? Uh, listen, me out. listen to me. Check me later, babe. All of these cops suck. Everyone in this movie sucks. <laughs> Remember, it's gangland. That's you know? what I mean. Gotta what would go. a white guy in a white shirt tie be doing in gangland? No one's listening to him. Whammy burger. I just want a little breakfast. We stop serving breakfast at 11.30. Oh. What is that, like two and a half minutes? Yeah. Have you ever heard the expression, the customer is always right? Here I am, the customer. He smiles. I'm really sorry. Well, hey, I'm really sorry too. Get a gun! Ah! Let's calm down, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Mister. <laughs> He's trying to leave. Eat your lunch. You all need your vitamins A's and B's and C's. It's an accident! It's an accident. Jeez. The, the trigger, it's sensitive. It's they gave me a heart attack. It's a sensitive trigger. Don't put your finger on it then. Don't point it at people. A double whammy burger with cheese and a chocolate wham shake. Yes, sir. She like get his order. I feel more comfortable now calling you Rook after all we've been through together. <laughs> He's so crazy. Should have just given the man breakfast. I don't think anybody expected him to whip out a, <laughs> a gun. gun. You see what I mean? It's it's plump, it's juicy, it's three inches thick. Look at this sorry. Oh. That is very sorry. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with this picture? Anybody? Anybody at all? Did someone sit on that? <laughs> hey! You guys are partners again! It's not like the picture? <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You sure? I feel like she's very familiar. Yeah, no, we've seen her before. It's not easy to see your beauty go when that's all you got. Well, what about your career? I'll be okay, you know, even without you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Some dickhead walked in the whammy burger, pulled out a machine gun because they stopped serving breakfast, paid for it, and left. Oh, he's gone already? I love her. Let's go! Oh, that was nice. It's the first nice thing in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so many signs. Yeah, the emphasis on like the people on the streets and the signs, just different types of people. Economically viable. No. I feel like the guy with the sign might get along with you. Yeah, I've been there for seven years. How much is the, uh... that is only three dollars. Three dollars? That's a great price. It's cheaper than aspirin or whatever. I'll buy this. Yes, yes sir. That is sweet on For his daughter's birthday? I think so. Okay, here they come. Damn, that guy just had a sign and he's getting arrested. Meanwhile, he's just chilling here. Don't forget me. Resonated with him. Just put that present with all of the guns. Jeez, dude. Oh, I thought that was him. <laughs> I think it might have been like a oh, flash, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I thought it was him, too. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. But there's other people waiting to use the phone here. There are. He's already done. That's right, you selfish asshole. <laughs> I think it's out of order. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, boneless chicken, skinless. Honey, hold on one second. Sandra. This guy. Just listen for once in your life. Okay? Time. Dude, you're so fucking annoying. While you have been there playing cop, I am at home planning your retirement. You are no longer in the law enforcement business. Lady, chill. Now, if you go up against this guy, be careful. That was such an infuriating back and forth. Especially because he loves his wife so much. Yeah. And she's just so, like, short with him. Right? Like, you're home feeding a cat while your husband's working. Mm -hmm. 
surplus store? Rubber boots. Yeah, right? There's no way that's real. Can you buy that? <laughs> oh, he's listening to the police radio. Yeah. Cost you half as much, last you twice as long, and they're great for stomping queers. Okay, what are you doing? Have a nice day, fellas. You got a problem, buddy. Huh? What customer service? You believe this shit? I mean, you pointed a gun at them when they were trying to purchase stuff in your store. The bag was already in the car when I got in. I, how many guns were in? Lots of guns. Yeah, a lot. You better find this guy. He's gone from bat to knife to tons of guns. And every cop sucks so much, no one will listen to him. You know, he's getting flashes of his daughter. White shirt and tie. He'd be carrying a gym bag. Never seen him. What's a police scanner for? My own personal amusement. This guy likes the other guy. Yeah. I guess they feel that a police officer is a police officer. Sorry, I couldn't be a more help officer. This guy's quite the character. Yeah, I'm afraid of this, like, team up. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad team up. This was used, man. This was actually used. A gas? Think about it. Here. You're not concerned with the people that you're attracting right now? And they'll spit on your food if you're not nice to them. I know. I know all about it. I think anyone would spit on your food, and they should. If everybody will stay out of my way, then nobody will get hurt. Good, get out of here. Who the fuck are you? Kill this Nazi. What is this doing in there? Oh. <laughs> that was his daughter's. What the fuck does that mean? I'll fall down. Oh. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Take this guy out. Give it to me. Oh, <gasps> yes. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Ah! Oh. That wasn't enough. You gotta do more. Feels good to exercise your rights, doesn't it? Oh. That's good. the first person he's killed, right? Yeah. And he absolutely needed to be killed. Positive ID on a gym bag, okay? Does this mean you're putting me under arrest? What the absolute fuck are you talking about? Get back behind that desk where you belong. Don't waste any more of my time pretending you're a cop. Whoa! The characters in this movie just have me blown away. <laughs> Everyone is so horrible. You got the bag of guns at the drive-by. Then you were right. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. He's been right this whole time. I know she made you get off the street. What happens between me and my wife? There's nobody's business but mine, Sandra. They lost their daughter. There's no way the wife could handle losing him. What do you say, partner? <laughs> Fuck him. Thank God he has someone. Seriously. She can hear this phone from literally anywhere. <laughs> yeah, right? She was like half a block down the... She was like at the beach. She's like, oh, my phone. Yeah, I'm on my way. You can count on that. Past the point of no return, Beth. Longer to go back to the beginning than it is to continue to the end. Yeah, I think once you've killed someone... Yeah. South American countries, it's still legal to kill your wife if she insults you. What? Jesus, dude. They're here right now. I'm looking at one right now. I'll put them on the phone. Retrace all the steps. What is it? So he knows the car. Yep. Randall, guys, I'm sure the guy will let you use this bathroom. Because he can find out where the car is registered. Yeah. Maybe. Then he finds out who it is. Go check out his address. Okay. Defense! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? Honey, honey, no, no. Squirt in the TV. Is this where it's registered? It's gotta be. Come on, I want to be a parking lot. I buy a ticket, you dumb goddamn bitch. Oh, <laughs> just shouting at a ninety-year-old woman. 
If you don't spend the money you have projected this year, they won't give you the same amount next year. Fuck you, pal, huh? You're not gonna hold us hostage here with these yellow lights and all these big trucks. Oh, flashing that gun? What's wrong with the street? Nothing. I knew it. <laughs> See? I knew it was fine. Or is he just telling you what you want to hear because you intimidated him with a gun? Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. oh what? fuck, here. he took that? Charlie, we got a goddamn nut here! You gotta pull that thing off. What thing? Now flip that thing up, it's kind of like your aimer. <laughs> oh, I saw it on TV. What's the name of the movie you're making? <laughs> uh, Under Construction. You like it? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. The yellow monster down there. Yeah, well, look at it and pull the trigger. It's really easy. That one right there. <laughs> it's getting lessons from the kid. Okay. Oh! Look out! Must have been a dud or something like that. <laughs> Police officers, ma'am. How'd they end up here? Mm -hmm. Or is he like living here because he can't go home? What relation are you to a man named William Foster? He's my son. Oh. Look at this. This is really amazing. Does he have another house or apartment? Um, you gotta learn how to ask questions. Now, of all of these, which which is your very favorite? Right now, I think this skunk. Ah, it's, it's lovely. Kind of reminds me of his wife. Yeah. It's interesting to see him out in the field and see how, like, observant and good he is. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, country club. These people might deserve it, too. Get off my golf course. Yes. Go back the way you came. Listen, I don't like the looks of this guy. Leave him alone. My golf course. If I want to play here, I will play here. Jesus, man, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Families having picnics, you should have a, a goddamn petting zoo. Yeah. <laughs> heart for you old men have nothing better to do? Oh, my heart. Oh. Oh, he actually is having a heart attack. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Something's wrong with your heart? What can I do? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have gotten so worked up. Where are your pills? Oh, and the golf cart? It's rolling down the hill? Uh-oh. Now you're gonna die wearing that stupid little hat. Jeez. That one was a little far. <laughs> Works at NoTech. The defense plant. Oh. Defense. So he never made it to work because of the traffic jam, but I don't know why I thought he didn't actually... Have a job? Yeah. You mean you don't know where your grandchild lives? He doesn't want me to know where she is. He blames me for what happened. What happened? He was fired over a month ago. Oh, what? what? I mean, his briefcase did have nothing other than a lunch. I wonder where he was going every day. Where has he been going every day? <laughs> just, just let him go. Yeah, right, just let him walk. If people will just stay out of his way. Aren't you with Altmore Security? No, 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 please. Don't take a hostage. We all sleep together in the dark. And everything will be just like it was before. It's delusional. <clears throat> and it, he's not some guy who just like snapped. Like there's something real wrong. Next time there's a proposition on the ballot that cuts the number of patrol cars in the street, you vote no, okay? Lady. <laughs> This movie is filled with terrible people. They need to leave, though. Yeah. The house. Uh, I've got something on an Army Navy store. Where? Here. You were there. Uh, Jesus, Pendergast, I was there. They found him stuffed in his own display case. <laughs> I mean, he was a Nazi, so. He didn't just like leave though. No, he fucked with them after. Oh, oh he's right here. Yeah. Oh, good. In and out. It's packed over here. Hey, I found her. Tavino Elizabeth. Venice. Venice. Because you know he's a good cop. Italian. What? Do Italians live in? Oh. 
Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> we got a puppy. Damn, what happened? It's the police calling her. Yeah, I'd be like, watch out. He's on his way. And you have dinner ready and waiting for me. You leave the skin on the chicken. Like I like it. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, uh, I wanted to feel for her, but she's... <laughs> she's a lot. Oh, shit. Let's go. She needed a little bit of... Pushback. Yeah. But could not fit your fucking name on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for. Miss... Did they get a stripper? Susie! Oh, they did! <laughs> a stripogram? <laughs> I can't stay. Okay. Well, afraid of women too? I don't blame him. He ever met his wife? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Brenda, guys, we don't have time for this. You're right. Oh. <laughs> the cake! He needed a punch in the face. Yeah. Happy birthday. But they were so shitty to him all day. That was actually a nice moment. <laughs> like more just giving him a hard time yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but i'm worried for him because it does sound like there's some kind of like curse on your last day yeah bought her the goddamn horse there we go horse ride Billy, yeah. you're scaring her i want you to stop this why do you do this are you yeah so nothing like really triggered well i'm sure that wasn't the only thing that's ever happened no, but it seems like he just like, over time, just turned into a shitty person. Yeah. Take the back. Oh, they took his gun. Did she already get shot? Oh. He's still dressed like G.I. Joe. Lady. Yeah, Why would... the hell did you go to a dead end? It's gonna be a showdown at the pier. Daddy, mommy, look, daddy! Oh, does he not? He doesn't have any weapons. I at guess least. not. He doesn't have his gym bag. I mean, he probably has his gun in his like pants again or something. Thought I'd find you here. <sighs> oh, leave us alone. Dude, you're a psycho. I'm not your wife anymore. No? Till death do us part? Oh, God, what are you... Definitely still has a gun. I'm having a private moment with my family. We'd like to be left alone. We're retiring to Arizona, Lake Havasu City. They call it a lake, but it's really just a big bowl of muddy water. Everybody has their own idea of what they think paradise is. <laughs> just try to distract. Oh, let the wife know he's a cop. And the kid went to sleep one night and never woke up. Called it infant death. Oh, Sids. But she wasn't an infant. It was very strange because she was two years old. She was a big girl. Jesus. Every movie. What can you do? <laughs> Who do you blame when they just don't wake up? Who? Oh, guns out. Oh shit. Fuck. It was going smooth. Go, 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 go. Oh, good. Please, Elizabeth! Now let's go meet some nice policemen. They're good guys. Come on, let's go. I'm the bad guy? Yeah. How'd that happen? Did you know I build missiles? I help to protect America? You should be rewarded for that. They lie to everybody. They lie to the fish. But that doesn't give you any special right to do what you did today. You know, I got a gun. You want to draw? Let's not. I don't think he does. I think he only had one pistol and he had a bunch of big guns. You can kill me, and my little girl can get the insurance. Insurance for your death? Don't you want to see her grow up? Behind bars. Let's go! Oh, he had the squirt gun. I would have got you. Jeez. That was one of our fellas that put this thing together. Frenagast. You hate him. Damn fine work, Frenagast. Fuck you, Captain Yardley. Fuck you very much. <laughs> wow. You're Fox, welcome. Sir. No, no, no. no, no. That's great. We stabilized her. We're taking her in now. She'll be all right. 
Yeah, that took them a long time to get her. I haven't told her yet. On her birthday, too. If I had a little girl, I would want her to be named Adele. My name is Mud. Uh-uh. <laughs> Your name's yeah. not Mud. Yes. Well, it will be when my wife finds out that uh, I'm still a cop. <laughs> That was super dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was falling down. What'd you think? That was so dark. That was not what I thought. I thought <laughs> it was going to be a little bit more like ridiculous and over the top. I mean, it was ridiculous at points, but I thought it was going to be he was a whatever typical employee with the whole concept of like, Maybe he's just having like a real shitty day and he just gets into like a series of more ridiculous situations. Yeah, that's kind of what it is, but this was a hell of a lot more dark. It like focused a lot on like homeless and like the sickness of the city and gangs and drugs and violence. And then the person that we're following, it wasn't like a good person who just like snapped because they had like a real shitty day or something like, this guy was sick for a very long time. I mean, there's video evidence of how he was he's screaming at his wife and his child. All he cares about is that he spent money on a horse and like see the progression of him just becoming to a darker and darker individual to the point where the wife is justifiably afraid for her safety. It wasn't uh, like office space where you're kind of like, no kind of rooting for, but not necessarily rooting for, uh, whatever the fucking guy's name is with the stapler. Ma Marvin? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know, they keep stealing his stapler and he burns down the place and then he ends up with the, spoiler, he ends, he burns down the place and he ends up with the money. And you're kind of like, oh, that's whatever. Like, it's terrible, but it's funny. Yeah. And so, like, I thought you were gonna kind of have some sort of vibe with this. Yeah. Where it was just like, obviously this is not right, but it's kind of, more hilarious to see like the person progressively snap this was just dark like he was a fucking scary guy there was a couple yeah. of like okay moments like when he's like losing his shit like that he can't get breakfast and it's like two minutes past and stuff oh yeah but then there's a couple of other moments where it's like dude you're a fucking psychopath like this is scary yeah i mean obviously at the very end there you have that moment when he's with Prendergast and he essentially realizes he's the villain of this story. I like that moment. I like that too. I feel like it was really important for his whole like kind of character arc. If you want to say he had an arc. Yeah, because he thought he was like the good guy in this. Like, oh, these prices are too high and you should be more lenient on these like food options and these golf courses are ridiculous and children should be playing here and like you can break it down to certain things where you'd be like, yeah, that's understandable. Like everyone fucking hates inflation and golf courses are a nightmare in terms of like what <laughs> the space, the space yeah. and like the money and stuff or, or like the resources that it could be used for. Golf courses are terrible. Golf is a fine sport. Yeah. But it's like, you could pick out a few okay topics, but that wasn't the motive. No, um, I feel like the entirety of the film, he, is just scaring the shit out of his ex-wife, threatening her in his own way, like not in so many words, but right. in saying he's coming home, that's a threat. And yeah, seeing him go through all this stuff and yeah, I mean, I thought there was gonna be some like jest in how, you know, the breakfast thing and it's like, oh, that does suck. Like you try to order breakfast and it's like two minutes late and yeah. you're like, Really, you can't just give me breakfast, but then like pull out a gun and scare this whole restaurant of people, including the people that work there. Obviously the whole like Nazi store owner thing was kind of like- That was uh, way dark. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. It's like some things, like you said, there were like moments where you're like, oh yeah, that'd be frustrating. But then there was really dark moments. I mean, you have the drive-by shooting where like all these people get hit yeah and even one of the cops said something about like a three-year-old getting shot in the head or something they're like you don't want that to happen again right i'm like did that happen in the drive-by yeah i i don't know if that was like part of the drive-by but i mean there was a lot of innocent people that got shot i don't know if they were dead but and then the whole like store owner of that thrift shop with his nazi memorabilia in the back i feel like this could have gone a lot of different ways mm -hmm. You could have had very similar situations, but if he would have 
done some slightly different things. You could kind of view it as like a guy who snapped and like he's not really trying to hurt other people, especially innocent people or stuff like that. But almost every situation he took it very far or things got very extreme. Like even when he scared that family that was just like enjoying the pool and stuff, when he realized that there was like blood on like the little girl, mm -hmm. he kind of like freaked out a little bit. Like, oh shit, I thought I hurt you and stuff. And I feel like in a good character turned bad, they would have realized like, oh my God, I'm scaring this fucking innocent family. But he was just a bad person who was bad. And his response was like, how dare you think I'm the type of person that would hurt your family? Or And it's like, dude, can you not tell that you're terrifying this family? Yeah, and, I, and that brings me back to earlier on in the film. There was another moment like that with the store clerk um, when he's like, what, you think that I'm the, the thief, thief here? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you didn't actually try to rob him. But like, you started arguing with him, then you start fighting over a baseball bat, and then you start taking out the whole convenience store and as things progressed obviously he got more violent but in those moments of him just being like me like you you think this about me it's like yes dude you i mean he had more than one screw loose and obviously that was a conversation that he had with beth at the end where she's telling him he's sick yeah and at the very end there like it was very obvious that he didn't have a gun i didn't real like i didn't put together obviously we had seen him with that toy gun right um so i didn't put that together but i didn't think that he had another gun on him after another small gun i don't know a lot about guns but like the a hand gun just a handgun yeah yeah so it was clear that it was kind of like a what do they say a death death by cop suicide by cop suicide, yeah kind of moment so that was just so much darker than I anticipated this film was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be a comedy, but I thought it would be a little bit more maybe like a dark comedy, I guess. Or like a Yeah, just kind of have its moments of like ridiculousness, like over the top. We went in completely with the wrong expectations. <laughs> yeah, and I really do like that ending where he does realize, because like you said, all of those moments, he's like, you think I'm the thief? Like, you think I would take a family hostage and for him to realize at the end like oh shit i am the bad guy here i am the villain and it even ties in with the conversation with the cop that the wife was having or the ex-wife to be like no he hasn't physically hurt me but it's like he's terrifying and the cop kind of been like just brushing it off brushing it off like it was kind of a shitty cop i mean so many shitty people i'll get into that in a second but it takes five minutes of being next to this guy to realize something is wrong with him and there's a screw loose and that he is an absolute danger. Like the wife was absolutely correct and try to distancing herself and the kid away from him because mm -hmm. even his own mom was terrified that at dinner that he would just snap and kill her. Yeah. So it's like this guy was not, I immediately regret any sort of comedy joke that I would make in the intro saying that I would have any sort of <laughs> resemblance <laughs> to this guy because he's a fucking crazy person i thought it would be like you know again like oh shit he would lose his shit because i missed breakfast or something by two minutes or something like that yeah and it's like one of those things where you like uh maybe it like shows a flashback of like him actually like burning down the whole restaurant and then it like you know it it pulls back to him and it was a dream and he's right. just like going about his day but imagining all of these things that he wishes that he could do for these minor inconveniences. Right. I guess that's kind of where I thought this was going. Yeah, really feel like you can take every element and change just a little tweak. We uh, need to change defense. That's what they have him listed <laughs> as here. Um, I thought his name was Bill. It's Bill. Um, <laughs> but change uh, Bill entirely though. Yeah, Bill, if Bill was just a normal dude who was just having a real shit day, which yeah. I thought that's what it was going to be, especially- With the traffic. The, the heat and the traffic um, and just like the disgustingness of the city, even like that one guy who was like badgering him for money and kept coming with lie after lie. It's like, yeah. dude, it, fucking enough. Yeah. There was a couple of moments like that. So if you had like the full movie be just a little less psycho, Yeah it would change everything. Yeah. Like if Bill was just a normal dude who just snapped and lost his shit and you know, like, oh, you're not gonna give me change 
and I can't buy this Coke because it still can't make a phone call. If they would have like wrestled for the bat or something and then, you know, he buys the Coke and takes money. Okay, it's like, let's stop right there. But no, he goes to this extra level or something. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, Bill was something else. I have to say Michael Douglas was an excellent villain in this. Yeah. Um, he plays crazy well. The conversations on the phone, the little moments where it was just like, you could feel the tension and you knew that he was about to snap, whether it be in the restaurant or wherever it was, like you you had those moments and he has like the, that look in his eyes, all of that. Michael Douglas was fantastic. He was a great villain. And there were so many moments where I'm like, dude, you're terrifying. Like, I do not support any of your decision making at all. <laughs> I'm just clarifying Let that. Let me a clarify, of times. make sure so we can cut away <laughs> from anything I said in the intro. I do not support <laughs> Bill. So it definitely was not the level of like fun that I thought we were going to have yeah. with the movie. I kind of thought like it would be Office Space meets Nobody, which is like something that okay. we did. Like yeah. I thought that was maybe kind of the vibe that we were going to yeah. go, like in a more extreme Office Space. This was just a psychopath on a rampage that was mostly heading towards him, terrorizing his ex-wife and daughter. Yeah, no, this was substantially darker. I mean, there was like a couple of moments that kind of just like made us chuckle yeah. for the inconvenience factor of things, but damn, pretty much went too far in every instance. I had a smile on my face plenty of times, but then it would quickly fade away once things yeah. got a little too extreme. Yeah. But also, the movie did a great job of, again, focusing on the people on the streets and just yeah. the clutter and how difficult, like even getting on the bus, there was anxiety yeah. that I was having. It was just like, that's Yeah, the music was huge in this, or lack of. Yeah, both. just the like subtle soundtrack or yeah. whatever, sound design. Also, almost every character was fucking terrible. Yeah, I mean, really, obviously Beth and Adele, fine. And then we had Prendergast, and Sandra, who were it. <laughs> like they were great. Um, and that was like everyone for the whole movie. Yeah, most of the cops were terrible. Like the cop that was dealing with Beth in the beginning, the second cop who was just like, well, if you want something to change, why don't you vote differently next time? It's like, cool, thank you. That fucking helps me right now. Captain fucking sucked. He was like, I had to give you that speech because they tell me to, but I fucking hate you. And it's yeah. like, but it, which I loved, obviously, the end where he just tells him to F off yeah. and then he's not gonna, or he's not retiring. Yeah, I think he's gonna stay a cop. Yeah. I felt really bad for Prendergast's wife. Yes. Um, in the beginning, obviously, we learned that they lost a daughter. In the end, we learned that it was Sid's, which is horrific. And you feel for her because she clearly, like, she has so much anxiety that she's, like, calling him. She's panicking that he's only leaving for her. And you see like those moments where he's talking about her and he's like, well, I love her. And you know, he would essentially do anything for her. And that's why he was moving there, even though he had no interest in Lake Havasu. And yeah, that's why he was staying behind a desk. And yeah, huge, um, huge part of this movie. Cause obviously he lost some respect at the police force for doing that. Um, but he was doing anything for his wife. So I felt bad, but I liked that moment watching him kind of snap her back into reality. Yeah. He clearly had been like, you know, walking on eggshells, kind of babying her through it. And it was nice. Like, obviously she did kind of need some of that, but it got to a point where he was like, you know what? <laughs> Enough. Yeah. And I, I like the response too by her too. It wasn't like she broke down and no. started like crying. Be like, yeah. how could you treat me? She was like, Oh, damn. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll get dinner ready. Like, okay, it's okay. <laughs> so it, it kind of did feel more like kind of snapping her back into reality instead of this like obvious funk that she's been in for a very long time, probably. Uh, so I think he very much loves his wife still and they just need to focus on themselves and everything will be fine on that end. Yeah. So I like how that kind of played out, but everyone else was such a shitty person. Like everyone, like even like the construction, like most of the construction workers, like you would think, okay, let me start with like a, hey, sorry, can't come this way. Everyone would be like, hey, fucking asshole, don't come this way. And it's like, okay, let's relax a little. There's obviously the Nazi store owner who deserved to die. Yeah. He was fucking terrible. Yeah. Uh, the people in traffic who were like screaming at each other. like. This movie did so well to just show you everyone, which 
I feel like it does its best to try to maybe show the world through the way that Bill was seeing it. Yes, yeah, he was showing, they showed like everyone at their worst. Like yeah, exactly. everyone in traffic, they were hot and they were tired and they were stuck. And then the construction workers who were being hired to do all this work for literally nothing. Like they admit, or I don't know if yeah, it was actually or not, but I mean, we all feel that way about construction on the <laughs> road, especially in LA traffic, like. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it just like, it put everyone in this like darker light, darker light, you know what I mean? Um, each time. Uh, yeah, sure, I would say that too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's a. Uh, yeah, uh, what a, a double negative oxymoron, double yeah, negative, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they, they took those like moments of little inconveniences and just made it worse. And it made it worse for all the people as well. Even the golf people. It's like that dude was losing his shit because someone was walking. It's like, I'm sure some people would probably get upset. And I don't know, I don't spend enough time on the golf course to know if that's a very accurate description. But like that guy probably was going to give himself a heart attack before he shot the gun because he was just so- He was getting very he worked was up. so worked up and it's like- Well, and his friend too was just like, relax. I don't even like how this guy looks. Like, yeah, his he's friend. obviously coming up with like a giant duffel bag <laughs> and he's in like army gear kind of. Yeah. So it's just like every situation. It's like so interesting that the movie, like you said, made everyone look like at their worst. Everyone was always at the extreme. So you can kind of not, I wouldn't say relate, but yeah, exactly. Like you, you see the world through Bill's eyes and you'd be like, damn, this guy fucking snapped, but he didn't. He just, no progressively came a worse and worse person, probably had some mental issues that he desperately needed to have helped and treated with. Yeah. Maybe if this would have been addressed half a decade ago, he would be a drastically different person who would still be in a loving marriage yeah. there with his kid. So I don't know if there's you know some emphasis on, hey, get help if you need it, but this was just so much darker than I thought. Yeah, and I mean, Beth made that statement there at the end when she's talking to him about like, you're sick. Like you need help. This is not okay. Like what you're doing, you're scaring your daughter, you're scaring me. But in general, this was very dark. No, yeah. <laughs> I, it was not the like uh, crazy movie slash like pick me up. Even though I, I knew it was probably going to be dark, I thought it would still be like a, oh, what a crazy movie. Yeah. This um, was like, man. <laughs> we're still on a run yeah. of these movies. Yeah, like, oh yeah, let's throw in a whole bunch of child like issues and death and stuff and then just extreme dark scenes and disgusting people and it's like okay let's maybe make sure the next thing we watch is something fun and lighthearted. please and something that doesn't have some sort of child death or child abduction. kidnapping or abduction or yeah it's uh, it's a lot on the child this <laughs> yeah so this was just such a drastically different movie even though we were anticipating, or at least I was anticipating the concept because I was somewhat aware of what the concept might be. Still relatively wrong. Yeah. You really had not much of an idea other no, than the movie the poster, poster. Which the movie poster does not show how fucking sick and dark this movie is. Yeah, I mean, the movie poster is just pretty much the, it's where he is with the confrontation with uh, the two guys that were like standing up against the car almost immediately after the convenience store. Right. Um, Robbery. <laughs> so this is like very early on in the beginning of the movie. And it clearly was actually a baseball bat, not a shotgun that I saw. Yeah. The movie poster was like this big when I was putting <laughs> it, uh, getting ready for the schedule. So yeah, I don't remember what's next on our schedule, uh, but I hope <sighs> it's just a little bit happier. Nicer. Yeah, some with no uh, depressiveness. But I did genuinely enjoy this movie. I think it was fantastically made. The anxiety mm -hmm. was there, the stress was there. The moments where you're like, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous to justify losing it a little bit. And then- <laughs> Not quite that <laughs> Just much. a little. Uh, Michael Douglas, like you mentioned, yeah. was fantastic. Uh, he was terrifying the majority of the movie. So I think it was a spectacularly made movie. Just be ready for some fucking psycho scenes and darkness when watching this, because this is not like 
the typical coworker who just loses his shit because his boss was giving him a hard time or something. We go into these movies blind and sometimes it works out and sometimes there has been a handful of movies where we go in with the completely wrong expectations. Um, I feel like uh, American Werewolf in London we thought was a comedy. <laughs> yeah, we thought that was going to be way more of a comedy. <laughs> yeah, um, I think there's a, there's been a handful of movies where we've gone in thinking just we're just off. Yeah. Um, so I think this is added to that list. But it, I mean, it was a great movie. It was just, it was much darker yeah. than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, because I was like, oh, sick, falling down. Like, exactly like I thought. Office Space meets nobody. Yeah. No, this is like, I can't even think of it. I don't know. Office Space meets. Nah, it's not even Office Space. No, it's not Office Space. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I don't even. <laughs> Neither of those movies. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, what a ride. And uh, it ended, I think, with the good guy winning. I liked and Pendergast. Pren, Pren, Prendergast? Yeah. What the? Whatever. Michael, Robert Duvall. Jesus, not Michael Duvall. Robert Duvall. <laughs> he came out on top. Yeah, no. And now he's going to go back into the forest and probably away from his desk. Yeah. And he's going to have some chicken with the fucking skin on it like he likes. <laughs> So it's a win. <laughs> it's a win for him. For him. <laughs> and maybe he can still hang out with Sandra. So thanks to our patrons for voting for this uh, to win our action poll. Sorry, we have the wrong expectations <laughs> for the film. But uh, no, I mean, this was still a great ride. And if I guess the lesson is if you see some guy who looks a little sketchy with a gym bag who uh, seems to be having a hard time, maybe just don't confront him. And... No, I mean, that's what they say, right? If you see crazy cross the road. There you go. Get out of people's way and treat people nice. Yeah. Because you don't know who's fucking psychopath you're dealing with. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.